In this video, I will show you the machine needles that should be used for embroidery. So let's get started. Hi, I'm Darcy from Z Digitizing. Before we continue, guys, please make sure to subscribe to this channel for any upcoming videos. It is a well-known fact that needles are an absolute requirement for machine embroidery. Sometimes choosing the best one seems like a difficult task. We bring you the complete information on types of needles and what to consider while looking for an embroidery machine. But before buying it, there are a few points you need to keep in mind. You must know your sewing machine's capacity, the fabric, the thread for embroidery, and the stabilizer. These are the common factors that decide the exact point and size of your embroidery needle. If you use the correct one, it will make your embroidery clean and smooth with minimal thread breaks. Embroidery Machine Needles The embroidery machine's needles are a bit different from the ordinary ones used for sewing machines. The embroidery machine's preferred ones have a round side with a flat surface to fit in the machine properly without any inconvenience. Different types of needles are used for various purposes, but they usually have a standard eye, shaft, shank, point, and groove. It is vital to take into notice the different parts of it. Sewing machines and embroidery machines have specific needles, but only a single unit can function but we will tell you the difference between both of them so that you can differentiate between them later in life. The significant difference lies in the shape of their scarf and eye. The needles used for embroidery machines have a properly shaped scarf and longer eyes than the other one. It is designed in such a way to fit in the delicate thread and not to break it repeatedly. Types of needles. The common types of needles used for embroidery have rounded tips and a universal point. They fit almost all types of stabilizers and fabrics. The size also matters for perfect and crisp embroidery. The size may vary, but it ranges between 70 to 110 millimeters. The best needle always has a lower number, so choose wisely. The measure also depends on the stabilizer, thread, and the fabric you are using for embroidery. If you are working on heavy and dense material, you should use titanium needles because they are of high quality and easily penetrate into the fabric without breakage or losing shape. These work more efficiently than other chromium plated ones which break easily. You should also consider your embroidery machine. Otherwise, it will create a hindrance because needle requirements differ depending on the specific brand you are using. Keep in mind the weave and the weight of the needle you are going to use, the machine's features, the density of the design, the stabilizer, the weave, and the importance of the material and the thread for efficient work. Perfect Durability Needles These needles are a perfect fit for you working on abusive material with heavy design patterns. They are wear resistant and are made up of ceramic titanium. Using an ideal durability needle helps you in smooth embroidery with fewer defects and increased productivity. Ballpoint needles. We recommend that you should use ballpoint needles when working on woven or loose fabric. Using an ordinary one for delicate woven and loose clothes creates a big hole in them damaging fabric quality. It is recommended to use a thin needle for a soft material to maintain its quality. Ballpoint needles work close to woven fabric without creating a hole and maintaining the quality of it. Cool Sewing Needles These were produced to reduce needle problems from these given conditions. The buildup of heat from chemically treated heavy material or synthetic fabric. Fabric sticking to the eye or surface of the needle. Frequently breaking of thread from friction in parts of the needle. In chemically treated or synthetic fabric, friction is a big problem between material and the needle. It may build up heat in it, which can fuse or melt the fabric. The problem is pervasive, but you can overcome this condition by using cool sewing needles. They solve the issue, preventing it from reoccurring. Best advice for needles. There are no written rules for selecting needles, but some points will help you in the long run. 
The first thing is while dealing with delicate and lighter material, you should use a thin and smaller needle such as Batiste and when working on rigid and heavier fabric, a large needle such as canvas will help you get through the material. If you are working on suede or leather material, then using a titanium needle with a sharp point will help you. To get complete knowledge about embroidery machine needles, always keep different types of needles with various finishes and sizes with you in order to get a full understanding of them. This will help you deal with multiple embroidery problems and make you an expert on which type is used for which kind of embroidery. Do you need a digitizing service for your embroidery machine with super fast turnaround and excellent quality? Just Click the link below and get a free quote in less than five minutes. Hope it will be helpful for you guys. If there's any questions related to this video, you can simply ask in the comment section. And as always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. And finally, thanks for watching.